keep on rocking in the world. Keep on rocking in the world. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, are uh, are we in interesting times right now? I hate it when I'm right. The uh, hysteria and the things that are being discussed right now and the mass social programming of turning citizens against other citizens is in full effect. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of the problem, reaction, solution paradigm. Step one, the government either creates or exploits a problem and then attributes the blame to others. So right now we have an issue which according to all the latest actual data and research isn't as big of an issue as being told. I know there's people out there with tinfoil hats on who are saying it's engineered, it's a bioweapon, all this. All of that's irrelevant. We are being programmed right now. And it's, it's so obvious to anyone with over two brain cells but people are very obedient sheep and they believe whatever authorities, especially global authorities, tell them that it's, it's right over their heads. And that's the scariest part of this whole situation. Step two, the populace, the general population then reacts because of fear. Remember, fear equals control. The general population reacts by asking the government for protection and help to solve the problem. That's where we're at right now. People all around are demanding the government to shut borders. They're demanding government to force other people to stay at home, your fellow citizens. So if you wanna go drive out to the wilderness, which is the best, healthiest thing you can possibly do right now, if you want to drive to the great outdoors, get that vitamin D, get that fresh air, you are smart. You are doing what everyone should be doing. But no, you have fellow neighbors, fellow citizens who are now calling you a killer, who are now shaming you. This is a hope by design. It's amazing how well and how quickly this all came together. So those people are now asking the government to help save them. The third step is the government will offer solutions, by the way, which are solutions they've had planned for a long time for any type of emergency. Long before the crisis of the day occurred, and at the end of the day, the outcome, when the dust settles, your rights and your liberties will be exchanged for the illusion of protection and help from the government. And it will never, it will never go back to the way it was before. I'll tell you what the biggest, most outrageous, absurd conspiracy that some people are actually claiming right now. Some people are saying that shutting down the economy, changing society, a cashless society, the end of mom and pop business, the end of personal freedom and liberty, all of this is to protect the vulnerable. Anyone who actually believes this is about protecting the vulnerable, well, you know what? You own the biggest, most powerful tinfoil hat in existence, and you are the real danger. This is going to be a war. For the first time in my life, I'm actually afraid of things in the world. Like, really afraid of what's coming. And at the bottom of the list is catching something because someone coughed on me. That isn't even on my radar right now. It's the problem, reaction, solution that is terrifying me right now. Oh, but let's all listen to the WHO. A few months ago they said nothing to worry about. You have nothing to worry about. But now, oh my god, we better listen to them and shut down society and give up all our rights and freedoms. Holy shit. If you believe that, we are all of you right now, all around the world, doesn't matter whether you're in Canada, the United States, many places down south of the border are now calling for martial law. And you have neighbors and friends actually asking the government to impose these restrictions on you. And if you disagree, these are very scary times. Wake up! If you don't see that there are 
far more important things to be worried about right now, then you're gonna have a rude awakening. This is bigger than a health issue. This is beyond national governments. You don't need a tinfoil hat to see what's going on. In fact, you're wearing a tinfoil hat if you don't see what's going on. Warning! Just Incredible TV is not gluten-free. Click that subscribe button below and make them live great again.